Hello again. Um, this week we'll be focusing on formica colonies, a couple tips for you guys on how to find queens. Um, in the month of June and early July, this method works great. You don't have to worry about walking down the sidewalk at the right time of day. You simply need to find a location that has pre-existing formica colonies. Um, so in this case, here we go. We've got a mound right here. Um, and you can see some workers exiting. If I disturb this more, you'll see more workers. Um, but this is a formica mound. Uh, very fast workers like that little guy. Um, so once you find a mature colony like that, you're gonna wanna look anywhere in the vicinity. Um, so this has all been cleared out uh, to minimize flooding damages um, from this year's uh, very large rainfall and snowfall. So we're gonna have to head a little bit more away from all the destruction um, into an area with uh, a little more uh, stability. So when lo you're looking for formica, you're gonna wanna look for um, uh, medium-sized rocks. Uh, formica don't really care about the rock type as much as other ants do. Uh, it's really just more of a, uh, if, it, if the rock is heated by the sun, um, and what depth it's at. So the rock itself doesn't really matter, it's just the depth of the rock. Um, so here's a very large formica mound. Uh, here's my boot for reference. Um, and so there's gonna be a lot of queens coming from this in early July. And so right now it's the end of July. So we won't be seeing queens running around probably, but what we can find uh, is founding chambers. And formica are really nice to find because they they live in these very uh, small founding chambers up close to the surface. So here we have an old fire pit. Uh, it doesn't look like it's been used recently, which is great. I love looking at fire pits because if they're old enough, uh, oftentimes you can find lots of queens underneath. So again, it's kind of, it's kind of just a hit and miss with Formica, but as long as you're looking under rocks, um, so let's just look under this rock. Uh, Nothing under here. Some workers. Let's check this rock. Uh, got some small pincher, pincher insects, earwigs. Um, underneath this rock, we have uh, looks like a formica colony. So nothing yet. Um, under this rock, nothing. Under this rock. Uh, what you're looking for is something like this. So it's gonna be an area kind of wide. Uh, you won't see any worker ants running about probably if it's early enough in the season. But if you look very close in there, I don't know if she'll come back out, but I just saw her just for a second there. Um, she's right in there. So there's a formica queen down in that hole. We're gonna dig her out really quick. So let me grab my shovel. Um, and we'll get her real quick. So I always find it handy to bring a shovel on these trips. Uh, you don't want to dig, you don't, you don't want to hurt the queen when you're digging. So I recommend being about an inch away from the entrance of the hole, two inches away if you want to be really safe. Um, you're just going to go underneath the hole itself. And then you're, you're going to want to slowly lift. You can see her kind of freaking out in there. The whole house is being lifted up off the foundations right now. So uh, once you loosen up the founding chamber, you can kind of just uh, coax her out. There she is. So she was right in there and a little bit of digging coaxed her out. Um, and she's underneath that rock. So there she is, beautiful formica queen. Um, and so we'll get her into a container. Um, so really quickly, I'll just leave her here. She probably won't go very far, hopefully. <laughs> um, we'll be, let's go look for a couple more colonies. So um, let's check some other rocks around here. Uh, you never wanna check rocks that are inside of a colony mound. Queens won't be able to survive. They'll be killed off if they're too close to their parent colony. So don't worry about those uh, big mounds. What you're really looking for is smooth rocks. 
Uh, medium size again. In general, medium size rocks is your best bet. So shaded areas I find are pretty good. You want the ground to be pretty rock free. You don't want a lot of rocks nearby. So here's a bunch of great rocks. However, it's a little too rocky. So you're probably not gonna find much over here. So I think the spot we were at was pretty good. So let's just go back, um, check a couple more. Um, can check these rocks really quick. It's too deep. If it's too deep, don't lift it up. Chances of a queen being under a deep rock is very slim. Um, here's a larger rock. This might already have a colony under it. Yeah, so this has got a colony. Very nice size formica colony. If you want a brood boost, this is a great way to get your queen going fast. Take a couple pupae. So I'm not going to take any of these because none of them are pupae. They're all eggs and little larvae, if you'll notice. Uh, we've got a couple larvae close to pupating, but nothing yet. Uh, this species does spray formic acid, so you got to be careful. I can feel them biting me already, so I'm going to put this back. But if you want a brood boost, this species is very easy uh, to get started with because the colonies get so big and they get so much pupae. So brood boosting around late July, that's when you get the most pupae. I'd highly recommend that method. Um, okay, so here we are back to our original spot. Let's just check a couple more rocks um, and we'll call it a day. So we've got this rock right here. Uh, nothing much, just a big beetle. We've got this rock. Again, nothing much. Sometimes you'll find a bunch of queens in the same area. Um, other times they'll be spread out pretty far, so nothing under there, nothing under there, nothing under there. All these rocks seem to be a bit small. Check this larger rock. Um, tons of isopods, but no queens. Find one more queen. Um, here's some abandoned shelter of some sort. Uh, let's get this big rock right here. Nothing under there. This rock's broken in. And there's nothing. Check this rock. Ah, here we go. So again, there'll be a wide founding chamber. This is a perfect example. And there'll be a queen inside. Um, she'll start freaking out, so it's best to get the queen, any brood she has. You'll notice um, she does have a couple, couple eggs in there, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to take those out too, but yeah. Uh, this rock wasn't too big. This is my fist for reference. You see how deep it was? Just like an inch or so. Um, so you're looking for pretty shallow rocks. Uh, I like to look in a forested area. So this is where I look in general. Um, and then the last factor is large colonies nearby. So there's a large colony about 20 feet that way. There's another large colony about 20 feet that way. Um, and so you'll be able to find queens somewhere in between that. Um, and yeah, so there's your tips and trips for Formica species. Uh, Campanotis flies in the night, so I'm not going to be able to find any queens right now. It's also a little bit late in the season. Um, but you can often find Campanotis just on trees. So uh, look on a tree like this uh, around 9 to 10 p.m. at night and you'll have good luck, I'm sure. So, all right, that's it for now.